God bless you. This is Pastor Gustavo Garcia that greets you. I want to invite you to celebrate with us this, this special event called Come All Nations. Where? Here, in Brookville, Illinois, in the Church Fountain of Life, on March 24th, starting at 10 a.m. We're celebrating real diversity. The Bible mentions in Acts 17, 25 to 27, that he created all nations and set their boundaries so they may seek and find God. He is near to us all. Again, you are warmly invited to this event where I know will be a great blessing. God has a word for your life so that you can know him, be blessed, and be a blessing to many others. God bless you. We'll be waiting for you March 24th, 10 a.m. at Fountain of Life.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. It's so good to see everybody gaily dressed. Praise the Lord. We thank God for today. Today, the day the Lord has made, that we will rejoice and be glad in His presence. The day that we are, we are celebrating all nations. Oh, I am glad, I am glad, I am happy to be here this morning. Praise the Lord. Um, I want to welcome everybody on behalf of our pastors, uh, the deacons and the deaconesses, and the ministers of the church to this service. This day that we are celebrating all nations. Are we excited? If you are Ghanaian, if you are Swahili, if you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are Spanish, oh, you are French. We have all come and assembled here to praise God. We have come here to praise the living God, our Father, who has allowed us to see today. Oh, in Yoruba we would say, Wagbogbo Relay Day. In Igbo, we will say, Biambanile. Biambanile. Hallelujah. In Swahili, we'll say, Kia Mataifa Yote. Kia Mataifa Yote. And in Ausa, we'll say, Zodunka Alumai. In French, we'll say, Vene Totis La Nations. And in Spanish, Vengan Todas La Lacioni. Oh, no matter which language you speak, we have come together, we have assembled this morning to praise our God, to worship in His presence, to hear from Him, to, to get a word from our God this morning. Let us quickly open our Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy. 31 verses 12 and 13 and it reads gather the people together men and women and little ones and the stranger who is within your gates that they may hear and that they may learn to fear the Lord your God and carefully observe all the words of the law and that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land which you cross the Jordan to possess. Praise the Lord. You will, you, 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 you will agree with me that there are so many benefits of, all, of us all gathering to worship this God, the triumphant God, the one that is seated upon the throne, the one who is the I am that I am, the ancient of days you would agree with me that there are benefits and I'll quickly run through the benefits of gathering to worship this God and uh, that's why uh, apart from the fact that it is a command it guarantees God's presence multiplication of God's power as we all gather God's power is multiplied in our midst and the fruit of the egg, uh, of the spirit, amongst others, is exhibited. So today, I want us to all to be expectant, because God is going to touch you in a way He has never done before. You are going to receive a word, your word, this morning. You are going to receive your word. I'm going to receive my own word. Say to yourself, I'm going to receive my own word. Testimonies would abound. The sick will be healed in our midst this morning. Amen. Oh, I hope we're all expectant this morning. Yes. I want us in, our, in one second to say what you want from this service to yourself. Tell it to God. Tell it to God. What do you expect from today's service? And God 
who is faithful to fail will grant all our heart desires. And on behalf of our pastors again, I welcome everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody happen to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Let me see you put your hands to the King of Kings this morning. Hallelujah. You know what? It is so wonderful this morning because different nations, we've come together this morning to praise and dance and give God all the praise that He's deserving. So I need you to come out with your shoes, your dancing shoes, your handkerchiefs, your hands, and your dancing stars, and let's praise this mighty man. Hallelujah. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, church, you're going to pardon me a little bit. So we're going to go to um, the south, south part of Nigeria. Anybody familiar with it? Yeah, and this is what they said. Weko wuye, weko wuye, weko wuye again. Yeah, 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 weko wuye. Yeah, 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 weko wuye, weko wuye again. Ah, you find a radio. You know, in the south south, you throw it with your handkerchiefs. Do you have any handkerchief in the house? Let me see you wave it. Pick up something and wave it. You don't have the handkerchief. You ready again? Hey! Weko wuye, weko wuye, weko wuye again. Yeah!
Opani, oh, 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 Opani, oh,
We're going to actually now do it in the language that we all understand, right? As believers. Hallelujah. The heavenly language. Amen. You're going to find two people. Walk on them today and just tell them hallelujah. It shall be glorious in your life today. Hallelujah. The heavenly language. Hallelujah. Can we? Oh, happy day. Say happy oh, day. Happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, today relax you are in your father's house right house of all nations amen hallelujah and i welcome permit me to welcome our own sisters deborah deborah sings and i ask that we remain standing and honor the word of god she's going to take us through a bible reading please welcome with me miss deborah sims Revelation 7, verse 7 through 9. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we beautifully take our seats in the presence of the Lord? I am glad that today is a wonderful day that the Lord has made. And we can be able to worship God in our different languages. Right? Isn't it beautiful? When our lovely sister was doing the Spanish, even if I don't know it very well, but I, I tapped into it because God understands all languages, right? So this morning the choir we just want to sing in a different language i promise you it's a simple thing just let the holy spirit guide you and you're gonna get an understanding of what we're saying hallelujah <laughs> We brought it 
Ibuchimo. I must say it like I believe it. Ibuchukwo ye dima. Ibuchukwo ye bere. Ibu alpha na omega mo. We burn it masu. Malite na gugu ya. Ya kamji nasi ibu chimo eh iti ebu be iti o mi mi nobody but you yeah ibu alpha na omega mo oh 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 we bro ni basu.
you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Aribeti Arabata. Hallelujah. The one whose throne, whose robe, fills the temple. The one whose robe fills the temple. The one who is, you know, it is said there's another song that we sing that um that the Lord is so big, right? He has to make the earth his footstool. His legs are so long that he has to make the earth his footstool. And the heaven is his throne. Hallelujah. We may be see that as we move on. Psalm 8 and verse 2 says that um, out of the mouth of babes, oh Lord, you have ordained praise because of your enemies. So next we're going to welcome our children as they give a shout to the King of Kings. Let's make them welcome. For the non Yoruba speaking uh, members of the congregation, she just said that their food in the Yoruba land that she likes to eat is rice and stew. Go ahead. Eba ati amala belu iredu ati omiyobu. So she likes um, eba, which is made out of cassava, and amala, which is made out of dried yam, but it's uh, made into something that looks like mashed potatoes. And she likes it with vegetable soup and stew. And stew is a red sauce. And they greeted you in their language saying, Good morning, Ma, good morning, sirs. Okay, it's all right. Are you done? Okay. So. She says, Thank you very much. <laughs> The Lord will bless you. Amen. Okay, thank you so much. Hallelujah. They get nervous when they get can up here. Can I have here. someone put their hands together for the Lord? You can put those hands together for the Lord. If that is good enough for your King of Kings, you can be seated. But if you're putting your hands together for the one that made you, the one that kept you till this very morning, you can do better than that. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet and give God a shout. Give God a shout and say, Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You know, the interesting thing is when we get to heaven, there won't be, the, the, the barriers won't be there, right? Because we're going to hear ourselves very clearly. Even though you'll be speaking your own native language, I'll understand you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is good. I said our God is good. Our God is good. And all the time, all the time, all the time, 
all the time. My God is good. Amen. 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 You can go ahead and take your seats. I want you to learn one language that you do not understand today, right? As you're going, right? Me too, I'm trying to learn languages. I can sing, I can sing from my head, you know, some, some songs. But sometimes I don't even know. You know, there are times I listen to a number of um, Swahili songs. And I have a pastor friend who is, um, who is based out of Cape Town, a Nigerian pastor. So I'll send him the song. I say, well, can you just help me understand what these songs, the meaning? Amen. You know, they're, they're powerful songs in different languages. Amen. They're powerful songs in different languages that we, you know, sometimes I've also come to realize that when you sing some songs in your local language, sometimes the, the depth of what you're singing resonates more with you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to have a word of prayers now. Is anybody ready to pray? You may not understand the language that we're going to pray in. All you have to do is understand that the person praying is a pastor. So the person is not cussing at you. So he's praying for you, right? So just be saying amen. Amen. Just be saying what? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready to pray? I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Lillian Sosa Garcia to please join me on the altar. She's going to lead us to pray. Amen. I will do some intros later, but she's just going to lead us to pray and just thank God for a day like this. Amen. Shall we rise? She's going to pray for us in Spanish. Amen. Can, can, we, can we celebrate God? Can we celebrate God? There's, there's something called unity in diversity. All right. I mean, that's what we're doing this morning. So she's going to lead us in prayer of thanksgiving in Spanish. Amen. Just, just be excited. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please lead us. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless Christ everyone. Amen. Dios le bendiga. Vamos a orar. Gracias, Jesús. Te adoramos. Te bendecimos, Dios. Te glorificamos. Sabemos que tú estás en este lugar. Tu presencia es palpable en este lugar, Señor. Y en esta mañana venimos delante de ti porque hemos entendido que tú estás aquí, Señor. Es tu presencia la que se mueve en este lugar. Es tu poder en la que nos arropa en este lugar, Señor. Yo te pido, Señor, que en esta hora seas tú, Señor, llenando, Señor, cada persona que está en este lugar. Que tu presencia sea arropando Espíritu Santo. Santo de Dios, Espíritu Santo de Dios, Espíritu Santo de Dios, tú estás aquí yes. en este lugar. Yes. Yo te pido que seas tú bendiciendo yes. cada vida. Tú eres el que levanta, tú eres el que restaura, tú eres el que liberta, tú eres el que salva. Señor, en esta hora yo declaro bendición sobre cada uno de los que están en este lugar. Tú eres el que rompe las cadenas, tú eres el que sana, tú eres el que levanta en esta hora. Yo yo declaro la bendición Señor hasta que sobreabunde Señor en esta hora te damos gloria en esta hora te damos gloria en esta hora te damos alabanza porque tú eres merecedor de gloria Señor bendice esta casa Señor bendice esta casa Señor cada hogar, cada familia cada dama, cada caballero cada joven, cada niño en esta hora Señor Dios de la gloria que la bendición bendición de tu presencia venga sobre cada uno de ellos Señor estamos expectantes a lo que tú vas a hacer a lo que tú vas a hacer en nuestra vida Señor en el nombre de Jesús gracias por lo que tú ya empezaste a hacer en el nombre de Jesús amén y amén aleluya 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 Oh, hail thy power of Jesus' name. Let angels go straight forth. Restores the Lord, God's heart, and crown him. Lord, oh, if we 
I know that my voice will be one of the voices that will be heard in heaven. And I will sing tenor. I'll be singing my tenor. Amen. To crown him Lord of Lords. The elders and the angels, they're singing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just getting started. Please go ahead and take your seats. We're moving ahead very quickly. We're going to take our next special number. We just went from Yoruba, the food that we eat, and the names, and and to um, we went from there to to just praying in Spanish, and we're just going to and we went there to to crown him in English. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and, and now we're going to go to we're going to some country in south in, in southern part of Africa. That country starts with a Z. Who can tell me what country that is? Sorry? Zambia? Zimbabwe? Zanzibar? Well, Zanzibar became Tanzania, right? So they, they, re, they renamed it Tanzania. Who has been to Zambia? I, I'm raising my hand. Who has been to Zimbabwe? I had the, you know, I met with the, the former president before he died. The one that ruled since I was born, Robert Mugabe. But we're going to sing again now in the, one of our choir minstrel, she's from Zambia. And she's going to sing in the local language, right? Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to sing a song entitled, Like We Give Thanks to God. For the word in the book of Psalms 18 says, Oh, give thanks to God. For he is good, for his message you us forever. So in my language, it's to let me tell. It's a very simple for us. Amen. Remain blessed.
hallelujah. So if you just connect with the spirit, we're going to be singing another song. This song is in Yoruba. Um, and just allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. Thank you, Jesus. fantastic please take your seat in heavenly places welcome to this glorious day we are going to perform three quick assignments today very prophetic each one of them first of all I'm going to remind us of the glory of God across the continents the nations that we represent today now this is your assignment when you recognize the continent I'm talking about and you have any association with that continent. Maybe you're from the continent, you visited the continent, you have a passion to pray for the continent. I need you to roar, shout, praise God, prophetically shout, be as rambunctious as possible, come to the front, just represent that nation or continent. Because there are so many countries I'm going by continents. Do we understand our assignment? And then the third thing, we will do a prophetic assignment before I go down. So this continent is the largest in size. It has the biggest land area, the world's biggest population. That means most of the people that live on Earth live on this continent, about 4.6 billion people. It's also the most, it has the most popular cities, you know, which means some of the biggest cities in the world are from there. It is home to some of the richest nations in the world, filled with the Arabian Peninsula, the richest nations filled with petroleum products, 
How many people can already identify? The Asian continent. How many people have any connection to Asia? You want to rise on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. Say the Lord reigns in Asia. Jesus is Lord over Asia. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The second continent, people. This is the smallest continent on the planet. Strictly speaking, it is a geographic region that includes about five countries. There are about 4.3 million people that live in the Oceania. Australia, any connections? Rise on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. Say, Jesus is Lord over Australia. Jesus will reign over Australia. Hallelujah. We are coming closer to home. <laughs> the next continent. This is this. Well, this is as small as this is the smallest continent in terms of people population. Australia in terms of landmass. This is people population. So it means the whole continent is very huge, but then it is sparsely populated. How many people can recognize this one? Very cold. Antarctica. <laughs> Any connection to Antarctica, shout hallelujah. Say, Jesus will reign in Antarctica. Jesus is Lord over Antarctica. In Jesus' mighty name. Heading closer. Now, this continent is considered to be the wealthiest and the richest. However, there are poor regions there as well. Okay? One of the cities, the countries that I just discovered in this continent is called the Vatican City. I never knew it was a country. But it was declared a country. Anybody recognize this yet? Europe. Europe. Somebody rise on your feet and shout, Jesus is Lord over Europe. Jesus shall reign over Europe. Now I'm expecting more rambunctious, noisy dancing. The pulpit is, the altar here is free for you. I need people to come and show, demonstrate. We are getting closer to home. This continent is the continent with the most countries. 54 countries, 1.3 billion people, some of the largest cities in the world. The oldest human fossils were found there, and so it is called the cradle of civilization. Does anybody recognize my African people? Jump on your feet and shout hallelujah! Jesus reigns over Africa from north to the south, to the east, to the west. Jesus is Lord. In the name of Jesus! Hallelujah! Now, for the North American continent. Who doesn't have any relationship? <laughs> Located entirely in the northern and west western hemisphere. Of course, there are host countries. Some of you are Americans. Some of us are just residing in America. Caribbean islands. 580 million people. If this continent has been a blessing to you, if you are here to take over this continent, rise up on your feet, stamp your feet and say, Jesus will reign in America. Jesus is Lord in North America. Jesus is Lord. The gospel will not be kicked out of America. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our last assignment, everybody rise on your feet. We will make a prophetic declaration. You agree with me that in the last 5, 10, 20 years, there's been so many advancements. Technology is something else. AI is blowing it. Everything is advancing. Do you know what will, will not stop advancing? It is the gospel, the church of Jesus Christ. So we are going to take, make a, um, a prophetic declaration. The choir will help us. We will stomp around, march around, and declare as soldiers of the cross that our generation will serve him. Okay? Let's go, choir. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. Marching on. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. The gate shall not prevail. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. Hey, the gate, the gate of hell shall not be. The church, the church, the church, the church is marching on. Hey, the church is marching on. The gate of hell should not remain. The church, 
church of God is marching on. In the village of Brookfield, the church of God is marching on. In the, in, in, in the state of Illinois, the church of God is marching on. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Has God been awesome so far in this house this morning? Let's go ahead and begin to lift up the name of the Almighty God this morning. Let's begin to worship the Almighty God once more this morning. Let's give him glory in the house. Let's give him honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Bless his holy name. Let there be a lifting. Let there be a lifting. Lift him up. Lift him up this morning. Oh, go ahead. Open your mouth and begin to worship the almighty God. If you want, you can begin to worship him in the spirit. Apostle Paul says, I speak the tongues of men and I speak the tongues of angels. Go ahead and begin to worship him. Kandarama Handaya. Go ahead and begin to worship him in the spirit. Let there be a lifting. Let there be a lifting. Awesome Father, we worship you. Glory and honor we ascribe unto your name. For it is in Jesus' mighty and precious name we have worshiped. Amen. Shall we have our seats briefly? My assignment this morning is very simple. We are going to be taking a building offering and our tithe this morning. So very quickly, I just want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of Genesis chapter 14. The book of Genesis chapter 14. And I will read from verse 17. If we are there, let's shout hallelujah. After Abraham, I'm reading from the New International Version. After Abraham returned from defeating Kedoloama and the kings allied with him, the king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Shave, that is the king's valley. Verse 18, Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high. And he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God most high, creator of heaven and earth. And praise be to God most high, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. Why did I ask us to read this scripture? The lesson to be learned from this scripture is that giving is a form of honor. Hallelujah. The king blessed Abraham, gave him bread and wine. And what did Abraham do in return? He honored the king by giving a tent. I want us to package our offering this morning not out of compulsion, but out of love and honor for God. So Titus, please package a tent. That is the genesis of Titan. Abraham paid a tithe to the king. But now we are paying our tithe to the king of kings. Hallelujah. So I want us to package our offering this morning. Package your building offering. Package your tithe. Uh, media, can you please display the various ways to give? So we have the various ways to give displayed on the screen. So you can just go ahead and uh, package your offering as we call on the choir. Choir, please. Can we be an offering, please? <laughs> Oh, Wahamanati, oh, Wahamanati, Siamonga, Wahamanati, Wahamanati, oh, Wahamanati, oh, Wahamanati, Siamonga, eh, Wahamanati, Wahamanati, oh, Wahamanati, oh, Wahamanati, Siamonga, Wahamanati. Oh, Muhammad Ati, oh, Muhammad Ati, oh, Muhammad Ati, see ya, 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 see ya
Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Please let's rise up on our feet. Let's reverence God as we pray on our offering this morning. Shall we rise on our feet, please? So our Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you for your move in our midst this morning. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, O Lord, indeed, for this glorious service. Thank you for how you have dealt with us wondrously this morning. Father, Lord God Almighty, out of the abundance that you have given unto us, we have brought this token unto you. Daddy, we ask that you will accept it in the mighty name of Jesus. Breathe upon it, expand it, and use it for your own glory. Thank you, awesome Father. Blessed be your holy name. For it is in Jesus' mighty and precious name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. And you can go ahead and take your seats. Take your seats. Amen. Um, amen. Bonga. Amen. Um, I'm going to ask Minister Shina to just come very quickly. Can we, we can move this to the side, please. It's going to be on the left, right? Okay, please, you can go ahead and move it to the left. Just go ahead and do it. Um, we have... Um, a guest pastor in the house that's going to be blessing us for about 40 minutes and uh, because this wasn't my original relationship so I just want Minister Shina to say one or two things about how I got to know Pastor Gustavo through Minister Shina so if you can just say one or two things about Pastor Gustavo Garcia and uh, how you came to meet Pastor and uh, praise the Lord Praise the living Jesus. Uh, Pastor Gustavo. Good morning, sir. I met Pastor Gustavo in 2018. And ever since, he's been uh, more than a brother. We are family. Because he helped me in so many ways. When I met him, I don't have a car then. He used to come and pick me up to work. Even when I had issue at work, that I had some difficulties with the staff, how to relate to work. Sometimes I find it difficult. He was one that stood by me. He said he believed in Shino. He even assigned me to one of the operators. He said, teach Shino about this machine. I know he can do it what I've never even done before. A big, very big machine that they are using. He said, I trust Chino, he can do it. <laughs> and I, I was trained. Even I have, there are so many people that have been there before I got there. He did not appoint them. He said, train Chino, he will do it. And I was able to. Hallelujah. Even at times, if I'm assigned to a department that I am not happy with it. Once I discussed with him, he said, come, come here, come and work here. He, he, he always wants me to be successful, always. And ever since I met the family too, the wife, the children, our first child is my, my friend, <laughs> Ella, <laughs> how are you? So we used to, I used to go to their house. We, I've attended several events with them, church, home, picnic. Sometimes they have cookouts. I go there, we eat together. And I have a colleague too that we work together. He's sitting by Pastor Gustavo. We work together <laughs> too. So ever since I know Pastor Gustavo, he's been good. He's been good. To the glory of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. 
like I said, it wasn't my original relationship. So it's always good to understand some of these things, right? Because sometimes where we connect with people, you never can tell. 2018, right? So, and I think I got to meet Pastor Gustavo maybe in 2021. I can't remember. We're doing something, and I had to go to their church. You know, I, it was a Spanish church, so I went there and I and I ministered powerfully in Spanish, and they understood me very well. <laughs> You don't believe me, right? That's what I did. <laughs> you guys are doubting me, right? <laughs> and uh, then, you know, Pastor Gustavo took over the church. Then he used to be bishop. And uh, I just want us to rise for one minute. Because unfortunately, this past week, the bishop that was a pastor for the church for about 40 years, right? So many, 45 years. But he took over from about four years ago. Yeah, the pastor died this past week, the bishop. Shall we just arise, just to just have uh, a moment of silence for the bishop? I met the bishop at that time, too. I was, I was there, and uh, we just pray that, uh, you know, again, he's resting in the bosom of the Lord, you know. And we know that it's, it's, it's a glorious thing. And uh, May you soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Please go ahead and take your seat. I, I, I will just quickly do an intro, then pastor would come for the next 40 minutes. You know, because today is just a special day, so please, please bear with us. We'll probably run a bit uh, behind our normal schedule, but I hope you've been blessed so far. Uh, they have two wonderful daughters, and, and the youngest is Valentina. You know, that's the baby that's praying, and that's playing there. Just, just, you can see her between the mom and, and, and one of the ministers. Amen. Then, of course, we have Isabella, that's our pastor. I mean, Mr. Shino's very good friend, right? So, and uh, the, the pastor's wife prayed for us, Pastor Liliana Susser Garcia. Let's, let's appreciate her. Amen. Amen. And there are other pastors that came to be here with us, uh, Pastor Gaspar Gomez. God bless you. Thank you for coming. And Pastor Carlos Osorio. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, Pastor is going to be ministering in Spanish. And you will understand it as well. Because there will be somebody that will be standing beside him to interpret that sister, Mirada Gomez. Thank you so much for coming. And it gives me great honor at this very moment. Where is um, Pastor Moses? Are we ready? Are we ready? We're ready with Mike. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please shall we rise as we make welcome Pastor Gustavo Garcia, who will be delivering the word to us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Um, I'm, estoy muy contento de estar aquí. I am so happy to be here. Esto es una... Yeah. Give, it, give it to the Lord. Yes. Es una bendición poder... Gozarme juntamente con ustedes. It is a blessing to be able to rejoice with you guys. Ya el pastor presentó a todos los que nos acompañan. The pastor has already presented all those who have joined me this morning. Quiero dar gracias al pastor. I want to give thanks to the pastor. A su amada esposa. And to his beloved wife. Que han sido una bendición para mi vida. They've been a blessing to my life. En el poco tiempo que lo he conocido. In the little time that I've known them. He aprendido a amarlos. I have learned to love them. Con el amor de Cristo. With the love of Christ. Eh, quisiera, quisiera en esta mañana eh, levantar mis manos al cielo y seguir adorando porque ustedes tienen una buena adoración. I, I, I want to just continue lifting my hands and worship the Lord because you have a, an amazing way of worshiping God. Aleluya. Pero... Pero tengo una asignación en esta mañana. But I have an assignment this morning. Y es traer una palabra de parte del Señor. And it's to bring a word from God. 
Así que cuántos están listos para oír la voz de Dios? So how many of you guys are ready to hear the word of God? Quiero que así como usted se encuentra sobre sus pies, the way you are over your feet. Me ayude a buscar en la palabra del Señor. I would like you to look in the word of God. En el libro de Juan. The book of John. El evangelio de Juan. The book of John. En el capítulo 9. Chapter 9. El verso del 1 al 9. Verse 1 through 9. When you have found your chapter, say Amen. Amen. Glory to Señor. Vamos a predicar la palabra del Señor en esta mañana. We are going to preach, preach the word of God this morning. Vamos a leer la palabra de Dios. Yo voy a leer primero, después voy a dejar que Meraida lea el resto. He will read the, his verse first and then I will continue in English. Amén. La palabra del Señor reza de la siguiente manera. Para la gloria del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo que está aquí. Amén. Al pasar Jesús, vio a un hombre ciego de nacimiento y le preguntaron sus discípulos diciendo, Rabí, ¿Quién pecó, este o sus padres, para que haya nacido ciego? Respondiendo Jesús, no es que pecó este ni sus padres, sino para que las obras de Dios se manifiesten en él, me es necesario hacer las obras del que me envió. Entre tanto que el día dura, la noche viene cuando nadie puede trabajar. Entre tanto que estoy en el mundo, luz soy del mundo. Y dicho esto, escupió en tierra e hizo lodo con la saliva y untó con el lodo los ojos del ciego y le dijo, ve a lavarte en el estanque de Siloé, que traducido es enviado. Fue entonces y se lavó y regresó viendo. Entonces los vecinos y los que antes le habían visto que eran ciegos decían, ¿no es este el que se sentaba y mendigaba? Unos decían, él es... Y otros a él se parecen, y él decía, yo soy. John chapter 9, we read it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the tasks assigned us by the one who sent us. The night is coming and then no one can work. But while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with saliva, and spread the mud over that blind man's eyes. He told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means sent. So the man went and washed and came back seeing. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked, him, asked each other, isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said he was, and others said, no, he just looks like him. But the beggar kept saying, yes, I am the same one. Praise God. Give it an applause to the glory of God. Glory to the Señor. You can give a hand clap to the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. Hallelujah. Puede tomar su asiento. You may have a seat. Vamos a predicar en esta mañana. We're going to preach this morning. El tema de mi mensaje es donde hay luz hay salvación. My title of the sermon this morning is Where there is light there is salvation Donde hay luz, hay salvación. where there is light there is salvation Donde hay luz, hay salvación. where there is light there is salvation Nosotros conocemos cuando hablamos acerca de la luz y de las tinieblas. we know that when we talk about light and darkness Porque la luz y las tinieblas desde el principio, the light and darkness from the very beginning siempre han representado dos mundos. have always represented two totally opposite worlds. Siempre han representado dos cosas opuestas. They have represented two opposing things. Siempre han representado el bien y el mal. It's represented by good and evil. Y eso nosotros lo conocemos. And that we know that. Por eso es importante. That's why it's important. 
es que comprendamos que la luz no es solamente una cosa y las tinieblas una cosa we have to understand that the light is one thing and the darkness is another sino que son dos mundos espirituales they are two spiritual worlds la Biblia dice the Bible says que Dios nos llamó desde el, del mundo de las tinieblas that God has called us from the darkness of the world para hacernos de su reino de luz to make us from his kingdom of light el libro de Genesis, capítulo uno, the book of Genesis chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the que earth la estaba the earth was formless and empty estaba vacía. it was empty y las tinieblas estaban sobre las faz del abismo. and darkness covered the Pero en medio de esa circunstancia, but in, in the midst of all that aparece una palabra. there comes a word Dice, pero el Espíritu de Dios, But the Spirit of God, el Espíritu de Dios, the Spirit of God, se movía was hovering sobre la faz de las aguas. The surfaces of the water. Quiero que usted sepa en esta hora I want you to que no importa right qué tan fuerte sean las tinieblas, no matter how strong the darkness is, no importa qué tan difícil se vea no, las cosas, no matter how difficult things may look, si el Espíritu de Dios se mueve, that if the Spirit of God moves, todo puede cambiar everything can change si el Espíritu de Dios se mueve, if the Spirit of God moves las cadenas se pueden romper. the chains are broken si el Espíritu de Dios se mueve, if the Spirit of God moves todo lo que está desordenado, everything that is in disorder todo lo que está vacío, everything that is empty comienza a llenarse de la presencia de Dios. begins to be filled by Alguien the presence tiene of que God creer esta palabra something has to speak para su hijo, to his child para su familia. to your family Porque Dios es el mismo. because God is the same Dios dijo, God said que lo que estaba desordenado, he said everything that's in disorder se iba a ordenar. it was going to be put to Isaías order capítulo 45, Isaiah chapter 45 verso 18, verse 18 dice porque así dijo Jehová for the Lord is God que creó los cielos, and he created the heavens Él es Dios. he is God el que formó la tierra he who formed the earth el que la hizo y la compuso the one who created and put it together Dios arregla lo que está desarreglado God fix everything that's in Dios disorder Dios ordena lo que está desordenado God orders everything that's in disorder yo no sé usted I don't know if you pero yo estaba desordenado I used to be in disorder yo estaba desarreglado I was out of control ya yo le doy la gloria a Dios I give thanks to God yo no esperaba que mi hermano Shina I didn't, wasn't expecting that my brother Sheila fuera a hablar un poquito de mi persona was going to talk a little bit about me y yo no sabía lo que estaba el, lo que yo ocasioné en la vida de él and I don't know what what I contributed in his life yo, yo lo hice yo lo hice porque eso es algo natural del que tiene el Espíritu de Dios and it's something that came naturally because I have the Spirit of God pero 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 lo que sí yo puedo saber But one thing I can tell you, es que en algún momento yo le conté a él mis, mi, mi testimonio, mi vida one time I gave him a testimony of my life, de donde Dios me rescató where God rescued me from, cómo Dios me, me, me abrazó how God embraced me, habiendo yo siendo hijo de pastor, I used to be a pastor's son, y habiendo abandonado las cosas de Dios and I abandoned God's things, pero Dios me alcanzó but God reached me, y Dios me perdonó and God forgave me, y Dios me rescató de and las he tinieblas me from the y me dio una vida nueva and he gave me a new life. y me dio su amor and he gave me his love. y me dio su gracia and he gave me his grace. y me dio su misericordia and he gave me his mercy. por eso es que yo no puedo dejar de hablar de él Because that's why I can't stop del amor de about Jesús him, about the love of Jesus. cuán bueno ha sido él conmigo How good he's been with yo no sé si Dios ha sido bueno contigo I don't know if God has been good with pero you. si Dios ha sido bueno contigo But if God has been good hay with muchas you. razones para There's hablar de él many reasons to talk about por him. esa razón But that reason, es que Dios me, me compuso That's why God put me together. Dios me ordenó. He ordained Porque me. Él creó todas las cosas. Because He's created everything. Y no hay nada imposible para Dios. And there's nothing impossible for Puede God. Puede ser que la sociedad te haya dicho lo contrario. Maybe society has told you something Puede different. Puede ser que tu familia te haya dicho lo contrario. Maybe your family has some, Pero la Biblia me dice contrary. a mí. But the Bible tells you. Que no hay nada imposible para there's Dios. There's nothing impossible for que God. Que todas las cosas son posibles. That all things are possible. Para el que cree. For those who believe. Para el que cree. For those who Para believe, cree, for those who believe, tiene que creer en somebody esta has to believe this morning. No hay nada that para there's Dios. nothing impossible nada for God. There's para nothing Dios. impossible for God. Dios es luz. God is light. Dios es luz. God is light. La dice en de Juan, The Bible says in 1 John, 
Capítulo 1. Chapter 1. Verso 5. Verse 5. Este es el mensaje. This is the message. Que hemos oído. We've heard from Jesus. De él. And now. Que hemos oído de él. That we've heard from Jesus. Y os anunciamos. And now declare to you. Dios es luz. God is light. Y no hay tinieblas en él. And there's no darkness in no him. No hay tinieblas en él. There's no darkness in si him. Si decimos que tenemos comunión con él. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God. Y andamos en tinieblas. We, but we go on living in darkness. Entonces somos mentirosos. We're not practicing the truth. No practicamos la verdad. We don't practice the truth. Pero si andamos en luz. But if we're living in the light. Como él está en luz. As God is in the light. Tenemos comunión los unos con los otros. Then we have fellowship with each other. This is what I love. Eso es lo que me gusta de hoy. This is what I like about today. Que esto que está pasando aquí. What's happening right now today. Está anunciando. It's announcing. Que ustedes. That you. Aunque hablan otro idioma. Even though you speak a different yo, language. And me. Aunque hablo otro idioma. Even though I speak a different language. Tenemos comunión con Dios. We have communion with God. Porque. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos en luz. Because we are in light. Y todo aquel que está en luz. And all those who are in light. Tiene comunión el uno con el otro. Have a communion with each other. ¿Qué es lo que nos identifica que estamos en luz? What does identify us? If Esta we're comunión. In light? It's this communion. Esta comunión. This communion. La sangre de Jesucristo. The blood of Jesus. La sangre de Cristo que nos limpia. The blood of Jesus that cleanses. De todo pecado. Of all sins. La luz vino a este mundo. The light came to this world. La Biblia dice. The Bible says. Primera, en, en Juan capítulo 1. Juan capítulo 1. John chapter 1. Verso 9. Verse 9. Dice que aquella luz. That one who is a true light. Aquella verdadera luz. The one who is a true light. Que alumbra a todo hombre. Who gives light to venía everyone. Venía a este mundo. Was coming into the en world. En el mundo estaba. He came into the very world. Y el mundo he por él fue hecho. But the world he created. Pero el mundo no le conoció. Didn't recognize him. A lo suyo vino. He came to his own people. Pero los suyos no le recibieron. And even they rejected Mas him. Mas a todos los que le recibieron. But all who believed. A los que creen en su nombre. And accepted him. Les dio potestad. He gave the right. Les dio derecho. He gave the right. Les dio autoridad. He gave them authority. De ser hechos. To become. De ser llamados. To be called. Hijos de Dios. Children of God. Por medio de él. Through him. Somos hijos de Dios. We are children of God. Él es la luz. He is the light. Somos hijos de la luz. We are children of the light. Estamos en el mundo. We're in this world. Y somos la luz del mundo. But we are the light of the world. Por medio de Cristo Jesús. Through Jesus Christ. Esto es lo maravilloso, mi amado hermano. This is the most marvelous thing, my brothers. En el capítulo 9. In chapter 9. Que acabamos nosotros de leer. That we just happened to read. La Biblia nos narra una historia. The, cha the, the chapter tells us a story. La historia dice. The story says que Jesús miró a un hombre. That Jesus looked at a man. Jesús siempre están sus ojos puestos en el hombre. Jesus eyes are always put on the man. No hay hombre en la tierra. There's no man in this world. Que pueda decir that can say que Dios no está interesado en él. That God is interested in them. Porque el primero que piensa en el hombre because the first person who thinks of the man is always going to be God. Dios God está interesado en nosotros. Is interested in us. Por eso es que él entregó lo mejor que tenía. That's why he gave the best that he had. Entregó a su único hijo. He gave his only son. Para que todo aquel que en él cree for all those who believe no se pierda, not be lost, sino que tenga vida eterna. But have eternal life. Esta es la salvación de Dios. This is the salvation. Para el hombre. For the man. Y, y Jesús mira a un hombre. And God sees a man. Este hombre estaba sentado en un lugar. And this man was seated in a, in a place. Donde siempre estaba acostumbrado a estar. And he was in the same place where he always would en be. En su mente. In his mind. No pensaba lo que iba a suceder más adelante. He didn't think what was going to happen in, in the future. Porque él estaba acostumbrado a una rutina. Because he was accustomed to a routine. A él lo ponían en un lugar They would todos put him los días. In the same place every para day. que pudiera recibir algo de la gente. So he can receive something from the people. A mí me llama la atención esta persona. It calls my attention this Porque person. Porque tú vas a ver en la Biblia. Because you're going to see in the Bible. Muchos hombres. Many men. Mujeres. Women. Que pudieron buscar el milagro a través de la fe. That they could have given him a, a miracle of faith. Había una mujer there was a lady que tenía un flujo de sangre. that had she, she was a lady of the issue of blood. Y ella dijo dentro de sí, 
And she said within herself, if I could just touch the mantle of Jesus, I could be healed. And there was another man called Bartimaeus. When he heard them talk about Jesus, he rightly said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And each one of them they were looking for a miracle Pero no en la, no, no la situación de este hombre. not in this man's situation este hombre no estaba buscando nada. he wasn't looking for anything and sometimes we're going to experience the grace of que God que no estamos pidiendo ni buscando. even though we're not looking for it en su gracia y en su misericordia, in his grace and mercy Dios te la va a entregar. God is going to give it to you la Biblia dice the Bible ah, says yo, yo necesito que alguien crea eso. I want somebody to believe that yo necesito que lo que Dios quiere es bendecirte. God, well, well, I want you to believe Dios what God's trying to say to you propósito. God wants to bless you purposely Dios quiere bendecirte a propósito. God wants to bless you purposely Por eso la Biblia dice that's why the Bible says que este hombre era un hombre. this man was a man como, como cualquiera de los que estamos aquí. just like common like any of us Pero yo quiero que usted vaya más allá de lo que era esta persona. but I wanted you to go a little bit more beyond of what porque, that person was because when we learn um, read about the person of the Bible los vemos por encima. we just read it so, uh, for the surface Pero si nosotros analizamos la vida de esta persona, but if we analyze the life of this man este hombre fue una persona común como usted y como yo. he was a common man like you and I sí o no. yes or no este hombre fue adolescente como usted y como yo, sí he o was, no. He was an adolescent like you and I, yes or no. Este hombre tuvo batallas en su adolescencia como usted y como yo, sí o no. He had issues in his adolescent years like you and I, yes or no. Este hombre fue un niño. This man was a child, sí o no. Pero este hombre estuvo en el vientre de su madre como this cada man, uno de ustedes, sí o no. This man was in the womb of his mother like you and I, yes or no. Ahora yo quiero que usted vaya conmigo a esta escena. I want you to go with me into the scene. Que este hombre tenía unos padres. This man had parents. Y me imagino la ilusión que tenía la madre cuando supo que estaba embarazada. And I can imagine the joy that this mother had when she found out she was pregnant. ¿Cuántos me siguen? How, do, how many are following me? Escuche esto. Listen to this. Porque cuando yo supe la noticia de que mi esposa estaba embarazada, so when I first found out that my wife was um, pregnant, de Bella, of Bella, después de nueve años que estábamos esperando, after nine years of waiting, escuche esto, listen to this. Yo recuerdo que mi esposa, a mi esposa le gusta correr maratones. My wife likes to run marathons. Y ella se estaba preparando para un maratón. And she was preparing herself for a marathon. Y ella llegó del trabajo. And she came from work. Like, como todos los días. Like every day. Me dijo, voy a ir a correr un rat, unas cuantas millas. I'm going to run for a couple miles. Yo le dije, okay. I said, okay. And she, ella se puso sus tenis. She put on her tennis shoes. Y salió a correr por el, blo por el bloque. And she ran running around the block. Y tardaron tres minutos. And she, it took about three minutes. Y, y ella regresó. And she returned. Con la lengua en el piso. With her tongue to the floor. She was tired. She was tired. Ella estaba cansada. She was tired. Y yo la miré así. I looked at her weirdly. Y yo le dije, ¿qué pasa? I said, what happened? Me dice, yo no sé. I said, I don't know. Pero estoy bien cansada. But I'm really tired. Y luego fue al baño y comenzó a vomitar, que quería vomitar. She went to the bathroom because she felt nauseous. Y me dijo, ¿sabes qué? Ve a la farmacia. I said, you know what? Go to the pharmacy. Compra un test. Compra un test. Y, 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 este, y, y vamos a ver qué es lo que está pasando, porque esto no es normal. I went to find out what's happening because this is not normal. Yo fui a la farmacia. I went to the pharmacy. Regresé. I returned. Yo recuerdo que yo me estaba rasurando. I remember I was shaving. Y ella estaba a un lado haciendo lo suyo. And I was, she was next to me doing what yo, she had to do. Y yo rasurándome. And I was shaving. Y, y yo estaba nervioso. And I was nervous. Y ella estaba haciendo el test. And she, estaba, she was doing the test. Y de repente mientras ella estaba haciendo yo ya estaba todo cortado. And while she, while she was doing the test I was already cut, all cut in my face. I, I was nervous. <laughs> Y, y, y cuando ella me dice, ¿sabes qué? Hay dos líneas. She said, you know what? There's two lines. We got so happy that day. <laughs> I was jumping. I was crying. I was celebrating. I was giving God glory because of a blessing that I was receiving that day. Hallelujah. You, you know what I mean? You know how it feels 
You've been waiting for nine years. Come and on. then for one moment to other, you will see the blessing that you were Woo! praying for and what you were waiting for. Hallelujah. Come on. That's all I can say, okay? <laughs> That's what I have translated. <laughs> The first, lo primero que mi esposa me dice. The first thing that my wife says. No le digas a nadie. Don't tell anybody. Vamos a esperar para ir al doctor. Let's wait until we go to the doctor. Y yo le dije, mm-hmm. I said, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I closed the door of my room. Cerré la puerta de mi cuarto. I closed the door of my room. Y llamé a mi mamá a México. I called my mom in Mexico. Y le dije, vas a ser abuela. You're gonna be a grandma. Vas a ser abuela. You're gonna be a grandma. I couldn't wait. I mean, you're not. Tú no vas a esperar un momento tan especial. You're not going to wait in one of these special it. moments. You cannot hold it. You can't hold it. Tú tienes que decir lo que está pasando. You got to say what's happening. Yo estaba tan contento. I was so happy. Que yo le dije a mi esposa. I told my wife. Te voy a llevar a comer lo que tú quieras, mi amor. I'm going to take you to eat whatever you want. Y ella pidió red lobster. And she asked for red lobster. Let's go. Aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Así como yo estaba, estaban los padres de este hombre. Just the way that I was, the parents of this man was. La mujer sintió síntomas. The woman probably felt symptoms. Ella le dijo, mi amor, como que me duele la cabeza. Love, maybe my head, I think my me head hurts. Me siento cansada. I feel tired. Como que tengo náuseas. I have nausea. Y vamos a, vamos a aparentar que había Walgreens en aquel tiempo. Vamos a aparentar que había Walgreens en aquel en el tiempo de let's, Jesús. Let's pretend there was Walgreens in those times. In, in, in Jesus times. Okay? In Jesus times. So, ella ella le dijo a su a su a su esposo, ve a Walgreens, cómprame un test. She told her husband, go to Walgreens and buy me a test. El, el esposo vino con el test, se lo entregó. The husband came with the test and gave it to her. Y la noticia que ellos estaban esperando sucedió. And the, and the news that they were waiting for happened. Ella estaba esperando un bebé. She was expecting estaban a child. Estaban tan ilusionados. They were so overjoyed. Estaban tan contentos. They were so happy. Que comenzaron a celebrar. And they began to celebrate. Y cuando tú sabes que estás esperando un bebé. And when you know when you're waiting for a tu child. Tu mentalidad cambia. Your mentality changes. Porque cuando tú vas a la tienda. Because when you go to the store. Siempre estás pensando en tus zapatos. And you're thinking about your shoes. Estás pensando en tu suit. You, that is not, you're thinking of your own suit. En lo que tú te puedes comprar para ti. you can buy for yourself. Pero cuando sabes que viene un baby. But when you know there's a child coming. Ya tus ojos comienzan a ver los zapatos pero pequeñitos. Then you start looking at shoes, little shoes. Ropa pequeñita. Clothes that are small. Y comienzas a preparar el lugar. And you begin to prepare the place. Para recibir a esa criatura. To receive that child. Así estaban ellos. As this is the way they were. Cuando supieron que iban a tener un bebé. When they realized they were having a child. Comenzaron a preparar la habitación. They began to pr uh, prepare the place. A pintarla. To paint it. A comprar cuna. To buy a crib. A comprar todo lo que se necesitaba para recibir a este bebé. To buy everything they needed to estaban receive this child. Estaban tan emocionados. They were so emotional. Que cuando llegaron los nueve meses. Because when the, when the nine months arrived, decidieron ir al hospital. Decided to go to the hospital. Y en el hospital, and in the hospital, lo esperaron con tanta alegría. They were waiting with such joy. Que el doctor cuando nació se los entregó. And when the baby was born, the the, the physician gave them se the los baby. Puso la mano. He put some in their hands. Y ellos tomaron a ese bebé. And they took that child. Llegaron a su casa. Went home. Y allí lo recibieron. And there they received him. Lo pusieron en el lugar donde correspondía. They put him in the place where he needed Pero to be. Pero mientras iban pasando los días. But as the days passed. Las semanas. The weeks. Los meses. The months. Y el año. And the year. Y el bebé comenzó a caminar. The child began to walk. A dar sus primeros pasos. Began to give his first steps. Se dieron cuenta que el niño se tropezaba con la mesa. They started noticing that the child would trip se over the table. Se tropezaba con la silla. He would trip over the chair. Ellos notaron eso. They noticed that. Pero no quisieron aceptar que algo estaba mal. But they didn't want to accept that something Porque was wrong. Porque lo último que quiere uno pensar. Because the last thing we want to think. Es que tu hijo está enfermo. 
It's because that child is sick. Es que tu hijo está pasando por una situación. That the child is going through a hard time. Uno como padre, one like a parent, quiere lo mejor para sus hijos. Want the best for your children. Pero ellos no, ellos estaban viendo que algo estaba pasando ahí. But they were seeing that something was happening. Hasta que se dieron cuenta. Until they realized que su hijo había nacido totalmente ciego. That the child was born totally blind. La Biblia dice. The Bible says. En el capítulo 9 In chapter 9 El verso 1 Verse 1 Que era un hombre que había nacido ciego de nacimiento. That he was a child born blind. Ahí estaba el niño ciego de nacimiento. And he was the, the child born blind. Usted sabe blind. qué difícil es. You know how hard it is. En la sociedad. In society que los niños a veces no miden sus palabras the children sometimes don't measure their words lo que llaman ahora el bullying you know like they call now bullying lo que hacen muchos niños de abusar de la de las, de, de las situaciones o las circunstancias de otros niños there's so many children who like to bully over este the circumstances of other children creció así this child was born this way probablemente probably lo habían conocido como el niño que había nacido ciego. They probably knew him as a child who was born blind. El problema no era que había nacido ciego. The problem is that he that, that he was born blind. El problema era la forma en que la sociedad de aquel entonces etiquetaba a las personas como este niño. It was not a way because he was blind. It was the way that they characterized him. They named him of what he was. La Biblia dice. The Bible says que los discípulos le preguntaron a Jesús that the disciples asked Jesus Maestro Rabbi ¿Quién pecó? Who sinned? Este o sus padres para que él haya nacido ciego Him or his parents so that he could become blind Ellos no estaban no estaban buscando la, la razón Ellos estaban buscando al culpable They were not looking for a reason They were trying to find the person at fault Ellos sabían que el culpable era él o sus padres. They were thinking the, the, his fault was his or his parents. Era la forma en que ellos pensaban. It was the way they thought. Por eso es que usted tiene que saber en esta hora. Uh, that's why you have to know at this hour. Que lo que muchos piensan que es un problema o una maldición o un o una situación que no vas a poder salir. That, no, the way that people have characterized that you have a problem or situation a situation that you may be able to get out of. La Biblia dice que eso es una oportunidad que Dios va a usar para bendecirte. This is an opportunity that Jesus is going to use to bless you. Jesús sabía cómo sus discípulos pensaban. Jesus knew how his disciples were thinking. Y quería enseñarle algo a través de esto. And he wanted to show them something through this. Él les dice esto delante de él. He tells them this. No es que pecó este. Not that he sinned. Ni sus padres. Nor his children. Sino que esto es para que la gloria de Dios se manifieste en él. This is for the glory of God to be manifested in him. Somebody has to know this morning. That God wants to manifest his glory in you. It doesn't matter what difficult situation you're going through. It's the glory of God that's going to manifest itself. Hallelujah. 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 Por eso a mí me encanta este milagro. That's why I love this miracle. Porque la Biblia especifica claramente. Because the Bible is specifically saying que este hombre no estaba buscando un milagro. This man was looking for a miracle. Pero había llegado el momento en que la gloria de Dios se iba a manifestar en él. But there was coming to the moment that the glory of God was going to be manifested de, in him. Quiero decirle a alguien que tu tiempo de manifestación ha llegado hoy. I want to tell somebody that your day of manifestation has come. Alguien tiene que creer conmigo esto. Repeat this with me. Alguien tiene que saber que, que, que creer conmigo esto. You have to believe this with me. Que el tiempo de manifestación de Dios para tu vida ha llegado hoy. Because the manifestation of God has come today for que el, you. Que el tiempo de la gloria de Dios ha llegado hoy. The glory of God has come today for you. El tiempo de liberación ha llegado hoy. The tempo of the time of liberation has come for you today. Los discípulos de Jesús tenían que saber algo. The disciples of Jesus needed to know something. Y Jesús estaba enseñándoles algo. And Jesus was showing them something. Ellos tenían lo que nosotros llamamos como prejuicio. We, they had something that we called prejudice. Que había causado en sus mentes. That was called prejudice or was caused in their minds. El sistema religioso. By the religious system of that time. Les había enseñado a ellos. They had shown them at that time. Que si alguien había nacido en esa condición. That if somebody was born in that condition. Era una condición 
causada por el pecado de esa misma persona that was probably caused by the sin of that person o por los padres de esa persona or because of the sin of the parents usted puede imaginarse eso can you imagine that que, que este niño nació creciendo that this child grew up pensando thinking que la razón por la cual él estaba así that the reason that he was like that era por su culpa because of his own fault usted puede imaginarse a los padres can you imagine the parents sentados en la mesa sitting in the table tomando un desayuno eating breakfast y cuando se miraban a la cara la and esposa miraba al esposo and when they would look at each other wife would look at the husband el esposo miraba a la esposa the husband would look at the wife el hijo miraba al padre the son would look at his father el padre miraba al hijo the son would look at the son el hijo miraba a la mamá the son would look at the se mother se miraban ellos tres they would look all three of them y en su mente And in their mind, la acusación. The accusations. ¿Quién será el culpable? Who is at fault? Eso era lo que él aprendió toda su vida. That's the thing that he learned all his life. Es la manera en que él creció. That's the way that he grew up. Pensando así. Thinking that way. Ahora. Now. La Biblia dice que Jesús llegó a ese lugar. The Bible says that Jesus Gloria arrived Dios por Jesús. to the place. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Porque cuando Jesús llega, todo cambia. When Jesus arrives, everything changes. Todo cambia cuando él everything llega. changes. La maldición se va. The, the, um, la maldición se va. La enfermedad se va. Sickness leaves. Las cargas se van. The, the, the troubles that you Las carry cadenas se rompen. The chains are broken. Algo pasa cuando Jesús Something llega. Something happens when Jesus arrives. Algo tiene que pasar cuando él Something aparece. Something has to happen when Jesus arrives. No hay nada arrives. imposible que él no pueda Nothing hacer a tu favor. Nothing impossible that Jesus can do. Jesús está aquí en esta Jesus mañana. Jesus is here this morning. Yo dije que Jesús está aquí. I said Jesus is here this morning. Él está aquí para sanarte. He's here to heal you. Él está aquí para romper las cadenas. He's here to break every chain. Él está aquí para levantarte. He's Here to lift you Él está aquí para darte fuerzas. He's here to give you strength. La Biblia dice que Jesús the Bible says that Jesus hizo saliva en, el, en la tierra. He spit saliva in the dirt. Y le untó lodo en sus ojos. And he rubbed it over the, mind, y the le, man's eyes. Y le dio una palabra. And he gave him a word. Ve y lávate. He said, go and wash his eyes. En el estanque de Siloé. In the tank of Siloam. Y él se fue. And he left. Y fue sano. And he was healed. Ahora, mis amados hermanos. Now, my brothers and sisters. No quiero entrar tanto en el detalle de la saliva, el lodo y el estanque. I'm not going to go in detail of the saliva, the dirt, and all that. Pero escuche esto. But listen to this. Cuando yo leía esta historia, when I, as I was reading this story, me llamó mucho la atención. It called to my attention. Que en el capítulo 9 de este mismo libro. In the chap, in the chapter, chapter nine, nine, nine of this. Verso 35. Verse 35. Ya este hombre estaba sano. This man was already healed. Él estaba sano ya. He was healed. Él fue a la sinagoga. He went to the synagogue. A agradecer. To be grateful to God. La gente que lo conocía. The people who knew him. Decían. They would say. Ese hombre se parece al que estaba ya sentado. That man looks like the man that's sitting down. Se ve igual. He looks the same. Parece que es él. It looks like maybe it's him. Unos decían es y otros decían no es. Some people would say that's him. Some people say that's not him. Pero él decía yo soy. But he would say that is me. Yo soy el que estaba ciego. That was me who was blind. Pero ahora veo. But now I see. Y la Biblia dice en el verso 35. And the Bible says in verse 35. Que Jesús oyó que lo habían expulsado. When Jesus heard what had happened. ¿Por qué lo expulsaron de why la did, sinagoga? Why did they take him out of the synagogue? Porque él había sido sano. Because he was healed. Los religiosos no querían saber de ese milagro. The religious people didn't want to hear Porque about Jesús this miracle. Porque Jesús lo había sanado. Because Jesus had healed him. Pero una cosa pasó. But something happened. Que cuando lo expulsaron. When they took, kicked him out. Jesús oyó. Jesus heard. Que lo habían expulsado. That they had kicked him y out. Y lo encontró. And he found him. Ya no era el hombre ciego. Ya no era ciego. He was no longer blind. Ahora podía ver a Jesús. Now he could see Jesus. Y Jesús cuando lo halló le preguntó algo. And when Jesus found him, he asked. Jesús le dijo. Jesus said. ¿Crees en el hijo de Dios? Do you believe in the son of man? ¿Crees en el hijo de Dios? Do you believe in the son of man? Y el verso 36 dice. Verse 36 says. Respondió él y le dijo. The man answered. ¿Quién es, señor? Who is he, para sir? que crea en él. I want to believe in him. Y escuche esto. Listen to this. Porque esto fue lo que me voló la cabeza. This is what just made my blow my mind away. ¿Quién es, señor, para que crea en él? Y Jesús le dijo, pues le has visto. You have seen him, Jesus said. Y el que habla contigo 
Él es. And he is speaking to ¿Usted no lo vio? You haven't seen him? ¿Usted no lo vio? You didn't see him. Él dijo, pues le has visto. You have seen him. ¿Qué tiempo es ese? What time is this? Es tiempo pasado. It's past time. Right? It's past. Él dijo, le has visto. You have seen him. Cuando yo, cuando yo leí esa palabra, le has visto. When I read the, the verse that says, yo you have pregunté, seen him. Pero cuando este hombre le vio. And I asked myself, when did this man see him? Si era la primera vez que lo estaba viendo ahí. Since this was the first time that he actually Ay, saw him. A Dios. Él está diciendo, Jesús le dijo, le has visto. That Jesus is telling him, you have seen him. Y el que habla contigo, él es. And he is speaking to you. Ahora, yo me pregunté, ¿cuándo le vio entonces? When did this man see him? Y tuve que ir nuevamente a leer desde el versículo 1 en adelante. And I had to go back to read from the verse 1 Cuando la Biblia dice que estaba Jesús y vio un hombre ciego de nacimiento. Because the Bible said that there Jesus saw a man sitting down from the birth y, y, y blind. Y volvió otra vez a pensar en cómo era la escena. And I began to think about the scenery again. Yo miro al hombre sentado ahí. I see the man sitting there. Con la mano estirada. With his hand extended. Esperando recibir algo de alguien. To receive something from someone. Toda la gente que pasaba todos los días. Everybody who passed every day. Hacía la misma pregunta que sus discípulos. Would ask the same questions as his disciples. Este hombre es un pecador. This man is a sinner. Eso decían todo el tiempo de él. They would say that every day of him. Este hombre está maldecido. This man is cursed. Eso era lo que oía en la mañana. That's what he would hear in the morning. Eso es lo que oía en la tarde. That's what he would hear in the afternoon. Y eso es lo que él oía en la noche. And that's what he would hear at Las night. Las palabras lo habían marcado toda su vida. The words have marked his life. Él estaba sentado ahí. He was sitting there. Esperando escuchar algo nuevo. He was waiting to hear something new. Y Jesús new. llegó ahí. And Jesus arrived there. Y mira al hombre. And he looks at the man. Los discípulos preguntan quién pecó. And the disciples ask who sinned. Y él di, y dijeron su él o sus padres. Him or his parents. Y, y Jesús le dijo, no Jesus, pecó este. Jesus said he did not sin. No pecó este. His, he did not sin. No pecó este. He did not sin. No pecó este. He did not sin. Por primera vez. For the first time. En toda su vida. In all his life. Este hombre. This man. Escucha un mensaje diferente. He hears a new message. Por primera vez en su vida. For the first time in his este life. Este hombre. This man. Escuchó que alguien le dijo. He heard that someone no said. No fue tu culpa. It's not your fault. No fue tu culpa. It's not your fault. No fue tu culpa. It's not your fault. Jesús le dijo, no fue tu culpa. Jesus says it's not your fault. Ahí, there, ahí fue donde él vio a Jesús. That's when he saw Jesus. Aleluya. Ahí donde, ahí fue donde él vio a Jesús. That's when he saw Jesus. Por eso es que cuando Jesús lo ve, that's why when Jesus sees him, y le dice, crees en el hijo de Dios, and he says, do you believe in the Son of God? Y él dice, quién es para que pueda creer en él? And he answered, who is he, sir? Jesús I want to believe dice, in him. Jesús le dice, tú ya lo viste. And Jesus says, you already seen him. El que habla contigo, the one who is speaking ese to you, es. that is he. <laughs> Alguien tiene que saber Somebody has to know que nosotros tenemos unos ojos that we have eyes que son los ojos de la fe. That those are eyes of faith. Antes de que tú veas tu milagro con tus ojos físicos, even before you see your miracle physically, tú tienes que verlo con los ojos de la fe. You have to see him with the eyes of faith. ¿Cómo yo sé que este hombre lo vio con los ojos de la fe? How do I know that this man saw him with the eyes of faith? Porque cuando Jesús le untó lodo, because when Jesus put the sand, y le dijo, y le dijo, vete y lávate. And he told him, go and wash yourself. ¿Sabes cuál fue la reacción de él? What was his reaction? No la reacción de muchas personas. Not the reaction of many. ¿Y por qué tengo que hacer eso? And señor? why do I have to do that, Jesus? ¿Por qué tengo que obedecerte? Why do I have to obey you? No, la fe obedece a Dios. The faith obeys God. La fe no cuestiona a Dios. Faith doesn't question God. Yo creo, yo creo que este hombre estaba sentado. I believe that this man was sitting y, down. Y por primera vez escucha a alguien que le dice, no fue tu culpa. And he first time he hears somebody say it's not your fault y ese que le dice, no fue tu culpa. and the one who tells them it's not your fault Agarró lodo. he grabbed the sand y le puso lodo. dirt and he put the dirt on his eyes Yo, si hubiera sido él, if me if it was me probablemente me hubiera enojado. I probably would probably get mad Pero este hombre no se enojó. but he didn't get mad ¿Sabe por qué? why Porque si él decía, 
Because he would say si to himself, este hombre no me está culpando if this man is not blaming entonces me, quiere decir que me quiere ayudar that means that he wants to help me. y yo voy a dejar que me unte lodo si quiere en los ojos care if he put sand que me unte lodo en la cabeza he can put it over my head. que haga lo que quiera hacer Do whatever he wants. como quiera yo no tengo nada que perder Anyways, I don't have nothing porque to lose. con Cristo Because my Christ, yo no, no tienes nada que perder I don't have nothing to lose. pero tienes mucho que ganar But you have a lot to gain. por eso este, este milagro me gusta That's why I love this miracle. porque la historia de este hombre Because the story of this man nos enseña shows us que aunque él nunca pidió ser sanado por Dios God, Dios quiso mostrar su gracia para sanarle y cumplir su obra en él God wanted to show his grace and complete the work in him que los milagros son buenos miracles are good pero es más grande conocer a Jesús but it's the better to know Jesus y adorar adorar a quien tú conoces and worship to the person that you know porque una vez tú conoces a Cristo because once you know Jesus Christ Tú no puedes parar de adorarle. You can't stop worshiping him. Él se vuelve la razón de tu adoración. He, he moves in the, in your worship. Esta historia nos enseña This story shows us que para poder ver a Jesús for in order for us to see Jesus, debemos de reconocer we have to recognize que le necesitamos. That we need him. Que el que confiesa su pecado that whoever confesses their sins y se aparta and departs alcanzará misericordia. Will catch mercy. La Biblia dice en el libro de Romanos, the book says in Romans, justificados pues por la fe, justified by faith, tenemos paz para con Dios, we have peace through Jesus por Christ, medio de Jesucristo. Jesus. Gracias Señor. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Dale un aplauso fuerte Señor. Give an applause to Jesus. Give a hand clap to Jesus. Aleluya. 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 Thank you Jesus. Aleluya. Thank you Jesus. Pastor, can you just pray? Let's can we rise? Let's be upstanding. Please just go ahead and pray. Just pray, pray. Vamos a orar. Yes. Yo. I, I don't know what you're trusting the Lord for. You know, there were some very deep revelations that Pastor gave. He said you must have faith. That man didn't question God when he was asked to go to the Siloam River to go and just wash the water was put on his face. I don't know what you're trusting God for this morning. Hallelujah. You know, when we have events like this, I always love the fact that a day like this is not a day that we can easily forget. So before we ask Pastor Garcia to pray, I want you to just picture one thing. One thing. Just one thing. You know, I always say it all the time, don't, don't ask for too many things. I want you to just think about the most difficult thing that you have in your life right now. Because I believe there is nothing that is too difficult for God. That man was not expecting what happened that day. Maybe you came out this morning, you have not expecting anything. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. So I wanted to just have the same faith that that man had. As prayer is released over our lives, just believe Hallelujah. that there's nothing that is too difficult for God. Praise Please go God. ahead and bring us the prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Vamos a orar. Vamos Let's a orar. pray. Yo, yo sé que usted tiene fe, por eso está aquí. I, I know that you have faith, that's why you're here this morning. Yo quiero que nos pongamos de acuerdo en esta hora. I want us to be in, in, in harmony this morning. No importa el problema o tu necesidad. No, doesn't matter your problem or, or your need. No hay nada imposible para Dios. There's nothing impossible for God. El Espíritu de Dios quiere sanarte, tocarte en esta hora. The Spirit of God wants to touch you and heal you. No solamente aquí en este lugar. Not only in this place. Sino tus peticiones fuera de este lugar. And your petitions out of this place. La fe, la fe, la fe avanza. The faith advances. Y la fe llegará al lugar donde tú estás clamando en esta noche. And faith is going to reach where you are Yo creo en el poder de la oración. I believe in the power of prayer. Yo creo que Dios hace conforme a su voluntad. And I believe God does it according to His will. Y el Espíritu de Dios hoy me trajo en esta no en and, esta mañana. And the Spirit of God brought me this morning. Para poder orar por ti. So that I could pray for you. Por eso yo oro en esta hora. That's why I pray in this time. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Sobre tu vida. Over your life. 
life Ahora mismo, right now en el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus se rompe y se desata. everything is broken Todo en el nombre de Jesús. everything in the name of Jesus Todo milagro es desatado sobre tu vida. every miracle is broken over sana your life en el nombre de Cristo. healed in the name of Jesus Eres Christ sana en el nombre de Jesús. you are healed in the name of Jesus Eres libre por el poder de la you palabra. are free by the word of God Ahora en el nombre de Jesús. now in the name of Jesus Ahora por el poder de la palabra. now by the power of the Toda word dolencia en tu cuerpo. every hurt Todo in your body en tu cuerpo. every uh, on Ahora en el in your body Jesús. now in the name of Jesus recibe liberación. receive liberation recibe sanidad. receive healing en esta hora. receive right now que tu petición sea contestada that all your hoy. petitions be answered Yo oro por tu familia. I pray for your family Yo oro por tu hogar. I pray for your home Yo oro por tu matrimonio. I pray for your marriage Yo oro por tus hijos. I pray for your children Yo oro por tus hijas. I pray for your daughters Yo oro por tus finanzas. I pray for your family Ahora que se rompan las cadenas. every joke is broken en el nombre de Jesús in the name Nazaret. Of Jesus Christ. Por el poder de la palabra. Return the word. Toda culpa se va. Every every toda, cup. Toda culpa se va. Every cup gone. Toda culpa se va. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ahora mujer, eres libre. You're free. Eres libre, eres libre del pasado. Eres libre del pasado. You're free from your past. Eres libre, eres You're libre. Free. You're free. Libre, free. libre. Free. El Espíritu de Dios te trajo hoy. El Espíritu de Dios te trajo hoy. Él te abraza. He embraces Él te abraza. You. He embraces you. Él te abraza hoy. He embraces you today. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Recibe ahora. Receive now. Recibe ahora. Receive now. Recibe ahora. Receive now. Por el poder de la palabra. By the power of the word. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen. Let's keep our hands together. If if you have been blessed, I have been blessed. I have been blessed. Please, God bless you, sir. I've been blessed. Amen. 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 Let's keep let's keep appreciating the Lord even as as Pastor Garcia goes back to sit down. God bless you, sir. to do me a favor this morning I wanted to stretch forth your hands towards pastor you know in the last few months we've gotten to know each other very well and uh, you know the story that minister Shina gave was where they were working together and pastor was the supervisor at that particular company I think uh, the last time I saw him he said oh pastor I've resigned to be a full-time pastor I just want to do this work full time. Amen. Amen. I wanted to do me a favor just to be on your feet and just to raise, I mean, stretch your hands towards Him. That the grace that is required to function in these end times, the grace that He needs to make impact. The grace that he needs, that when he calls one tens and, and thousands will answer. The anointing that he needs to be able to represent God in such a way that God will be glorified. That God Almighty will release over his life. His hand is on the plow, he will not look back. He talked about how God brought him out and God did indeed brought him out. So God brought him out to represent him. That he will represent God. That every time God looks at him, God will be glad. God will be glad and say, yes, that's my son. Eh? Who is fervent for me? Who is serving me? Who is breaking barriers? Who is breaking yokes? In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for the wife as well. And let's pray for the children. That God Almighty will uphold them. That even as they have committed to serve God, God Almighty in turn will serve them. In the mighty name of Jesus. God who is the provider will provide. God will guide. Wisdom from above will be his portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father. Blessed be your name O God. We give you praise. 
We give you glory. Thank you for the word that's been delivered this morning, oh God. We receive with faith, oh God, that it will profit each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can take your seats. We're going to be out of here very shortly. Uh, again, apologies. We are past our normal time, but I just want to believe that it's been a time well spent. Amen. Please go ahead and take your seats. Very quickly, as we are all seated, as we are all seated, as we are all seated, um, if today is the first time you are here worshiping with us, the ushers should have given you a card. Uh, if today is your first time, can you just wave to the Lord? Being your first time. Being the first time. Amen. Amen. There are people on that side as well. Can we make sure they have cards? As you're seated, they'll just give you a card. If you do not mind, please just help us complete the card. We're going to wait for you to complete the card as well. Because, it, again, we don't want to take you to... We have a normal welcome room. We just want to keep you here with us. Amen. Amen. I want to change what the choir had planned to do. I'm sorry. I'm not going to cause you much trouble. Then. You deserve the glory and the, the honor. Please, first time, I just complete the cards. Complete the cards. Only God deserves the glory this morning. And we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory.
honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Gustavo, for that one. Next, we are going to do our Thanksgiving, all nations Thanksgiving. I think in anticipation, right, of the miracles that we know we have received today. You will hear my testimony. Tell your neighbor, you will hear my testimony. You will hear of my testimony. I will testify to the goodness of God. So it is appropriate. Pastor told us that in faith, that blind man now, well, now, now that now saw, in faith he went. He did something. I want your faith to move you to give today. In thanksgiving in anticipation of what God, not what God will do, what he has already done. And you will see the manifestation. The ways to give are the same. If you want to kick off your shoe, you are well, you are welcome to kick it off. And dance like David danced today. Can I see our dance? Are we ready? We have it up here. Choir, are we ready? We can actually bring this down now. Can somebody help to, to free us up? Hallelujah. We can bring this down now to leave more room. Okay, are we ready? All shares, let us direct. Please do not just come out dancing. I want to raise your Thanksgiving offering up to the Lord. The ways to give, thank you, are already up there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same info at Fountain of Life Chicago. ZC at Fountain of Life Chicago. Org. And let us give him thanks, people from every nation. For him alone is one. He's worthy to receive it all. He deserves it. We've sang it. So are we ready? Can we all rise? Are we ready? Can we all rise as we? Oh, you're still okay. Want to give you time? Send your Thanksgiving offering in and dance like you have never danced before. Hallelujah. I know choir is ready. I hope you are to rejoice for what the Lord has done in our midst today. Truly, it is glorious. We ready? Can we all be on our feet this afternoon? Can we all be on our feet and put a dance to God this afternoon? Yeah.
You're welcome to stay after. Hallelujah. And as we round up today, uh, you know, the scripture just came to my heart. And the Lord says it's wiped away every tear from our eyes. Hallelujah. In Revelations chapter 21 and verse 4. Revelations chapter 21. Because I believe that definitely somebody has received their own miracle today. Hallelujah. It says, and God has wiped away every tear from our eyes. Therefore, well, there shall be no death, no more sorrow, no crying. Neither shall there be any more pain in the name of Jesus. For the former things have passed away and the new is in here. Bless the Lord for what he's done in this house today. Father, we bless you. We magnify your name. Thank you for confirming your word with signs and with wonders. Father, we magnify your name. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we bless you. Truly in your presence there is fullness of joy. Now your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We thank you, Father God Almighty, for truly on this Mount Zion today, Lord, there's been an exchange, oh God. And we go out rejoicing. We go out celebrating. Father, we leave behind every pain, every sorrow, every disease, every delay. Oh God, it's gone in Jesus' name. And we walk out here because we have met with the King of Kings. Every issue of blood stops. Every sickness is gone. But that you fix and you mend all that pertains to us in Jesus' name. Daddy, we thank you. Lord, your word says that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God and you now reign forever. Father, thank you because henceforth you reign in our lives in the name of Jesus. You reign in our hearts in the name of Jesus. You reign in our homes. You reign in our finances. Father, your word that we have said that where light is, darkness cannot be. Father, God Almighty, that the light of your countenance shines brighter and brighter. That every darkness that might be in our hearts or in our lives, Father, by the light of God that shines brightly, let it be today in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you that truly there shall be testimonies. There shall be testimonies. Thank you, Father, for all of our issues. We'll glorify your name in the name of Jesus. We honor you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause the light of his countenance, that light, to ever shine upon you, shine upon your path, shine upon all that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, may this God be gracious unto you. May this God give you everlasting peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We close in worship. Amen. Choir.
hallelujah. Be here to celebrate, amen, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we go from here, one thing that we learned when Pastor called Minister Shino forward was relationship and evangelism. Hallelujah. As you go from here, can you spread the word? Tell somebody about this one. I know when they met at work, it seemed, it seemed like somebody wanted to evangelize. So I don't, I don't know who was trying to evangelize who, but they were both believers. Hallelujah. So go from here in that place of work, in your neighborhood. Tell somebody about Jesus. Can we do it, family? We can do it. Hallelujah. And can we share the grace and fellowship? And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Look in your neighbor's eyes, tell them, surely the Lord's goodness and his mercy shall follow you, follow me all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now go and witness in Jesus' name. God bless you. Oh yeah.